Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And I've got a little fun hunt for you today. I'm gonna to start a new little epic battle series between boxes of coins. If you recall, a few hunts ago, I put against uh, a machine-wrapped box of coins, a customer-wrapped rolls box. And a lot of you seem to enjoy that. And we're wondering, you know, which box was better as well as I was. So because it was kind of a tie, I decided to go ahead and have a couple of more boxes to hunt, pit it against each other to see how they fare out. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I got. So today we're gonna to be hunting this machine wrap box versus a customer wrap box. And I'll have a video coming out where we've got a few more. The story on the customer wrapped is pretty basic. I went to Chase Banks and I got two boxes of machine wrapped. I went to another Chase Bank and I asked for pennies as well. And I asked if they had any customer wrapped. And one gentleman said he had $57 in customer wrapped coins. So I didn't ask a lot of questions. I said, could I get $50 worth or two boxes worth? He was happy to grab the orange trays. He dumped them into bags for me. I got home, pulled out of my stock some uh, empty penny boxes, filled up this box with a set of coins. There's three sets of coins here. There's four of these different wrappers. There's a bunch of these uh, custard wrap wrappers. And then there's even some of those coin tainer with the, with the crimped end, al end already. So that's what this box is. This box is only going to be those type of wrappers versus that. So kind of a mix. I don't know which customers got what, but we did the best we could. Hopefully these customer wrapped coins aren't already searched because that would definitely, like I said before, kind of uh, unfairly uh, give advantage to the machine wrapped. The machine wraps are circulated. I checked. That would make it fair as well. All right, everyone. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to start with the customer wrapped and it's going to be kind of an expedited hunt, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on every penny, but I'll be showing the finds as I find them, and then we'll edit the video down so that I can get two boxes in a one 15-minute video, hopefully, and the same for the other two boxes over there on a future video. All right, let's go ahead and get this hunt started. Third roll in, weed scent. It's a 55. Are we checking it under the microscope for sure? Well, it's clearly not, not the double dive verse, but I wanted to show you something a little weird about this scent. Look at that E. That E is offset. And uh, either the W is higher or the E is lower or a combination of both. Kind of weird. They're not in line. And it's not pushed down from damage. I've inspected it even under the loop, the uh, 25 times loop. And I don't see any way that it was pushed down, but it definitely is not aligned. I might hold on to it on the side just because it's kind of weird. Let me know what you guys think. Either way, feels good getting a first weed scent, at least in these types of rolls, because it makes me feel like the box is not going to be hunted. Roll eight. Got a second weed scent here. Different rolls. 52D. We'll take it. All right, everyone. I'm kind of excited right now because one of the things I do with custard wrap coins and most rolls is I take a magnet and I always run across them like that, but I run across the top of every row before I start the row. I pulled a roll out and I forgot to check them and I thought I'll just check them real quick and check this out. Check this out. Custard wrap roll and we've got, we've got something magnetic sticking to that one, something magnetic sticking to that one. Either we have some forms or we've got a couple of steel scents. I'm going to go ahead and slide these rolls over and hunt these rolls next. All right, guys. Unfortunately, the verdict's out on this first one. It is a foreign find. And don't get me wrong. I'm pretty happy that I found a foreign coin, but that's why it was magnetic. This is an odd one. 2011. Not familiar with it. It's a Euro cent. Not sure which country it's from. Maybe you guys could help me out on that one. All right. First foreign find of the box. Now I'm thinking that that's probably a form, but we'll get to it next. I was just getting ready to crack it open, guys, and you can clearly see that it looks like there's a bigger coin there, and uh, that's what's sticking to it. Highly doubt we found a steel scent. Let's see what it is. It's actually kind of a cool foreign find. 2,000. One penny. I have not seen one of these, so maybe you guys can help me out. Pretty cool find. Two foreigns in the box, one slightly larger than the other. Roll 18, got a pretty bit damaged wheat scent. You can see it on the back. 57D. 
Third weed scent of the box. Roll 20. Weed scent number four. 1956D. Roll 21. Weed scent number five. 1944. Same roll. Found a dime. 74. Making money. Roll 30. We've got another dime. Like I said, making money. Roll 42. Finally got our sixth wheat scent here. 1956 Philly. Same roll. Got a Canadian. 98. Third foreign of the box. Roll 45. Got ourselves another wheat scent here. 1953D. Same roll. Another wheat scent. 1945. Second oldest of the box. Eight wheat cents. They're going to make it tough on those machine rolls. Customer wrap box is done. Two pounds, 12 ounces of copper. <clears throat> a couple of dimes. An odd colored 2001. It's like it's missing the copper uh, plating. I'm not quite sure. It's not steel or anything like that, but 11 2009s, three foreigns. We did get eight wheat cents. Oldest of the box was a 44 Philly. We also got a 45 Philly, 52 Denver, 53 Denver, 55 Philly, 56 Denver, 56 Philly, and 57 Denver. Eight Wheaties, oldest is 44. Going to be tough to beat with the two dimes and the uh, three foreigns as well. But let's see if it can. Roll 23. Yep, you heard it, guys. 23. Till we got our first wheat scent in this machine box. Unbelievable. It's a 46, but can you believe it took 23 rolls to find one? If this box doesn't heat up, it's gonna get destroyed by the customer wraps. Let's keep looking. Roll 28, guys, and this is more like it. Spilled it out. I could see a 1950 here. So we will take it for sure. That is our second wheat scent, and look at this. I could see just the wheat ears right there. Nineteen forty nine S. I will take that all day. That's three now. Now we're making some moves. We're all thirty one guys, and uh, we've got a wheat sitting here. It looks like. I can see a 191. I can't see if it's a 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. I can't really see. I think that's either a 12 or a 1913, and it could have a mint mark, or that's just some damage. Let me uh, take a little bit of, uh, I mean, the, the weed is kind of beat up, but let me go ahead and take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and see if I can clean it up just a little bit. I think that's a 13. I think it's a 1913. Let me go ahead and clean it up a little bit and see what it shows. All right, guys. I took a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a lint-free cloth, and there is no mint mark, but it is a 1913. 76 million minted of these, so it's not a super rare weedy by any chance, but guess what? It's a 105-year-old wheat scent. So pretty cool. Either way, 1913, pretty toasty, but uh, I'll take it. Wow, was not expecting that. So now that it only has four wheat scents in this box so far, which is only half of what we got in the uh, customer wrapped, we got a teens weedy though. That's gonna be tough to beat. Let's see if we can find some more. Roll 34 guys, this was almost an ender. We got a wheat scent right behind this coin. 52 S, wow, getting a few S mint marks here. Let's double check it under the, yep. 52S. We'll definitely take that. All right, wheat scent number five. Roll 37, guys, and uh, found another wheat scent here. 1950. I think it's a D. Yeah, it's got to be a D. All right. Very next roll, roll 38, and I laid them out, and I see a wheat scent. Nineteen 
56D. Roll 47, guys. Found our eighth weed scent, 1953D. So that's gonna tie the last box of the customer wrap, but we've got a teens weedy, so, and I think we're gonna have a lot more copper. I think this box is gonna end up taking it. So I think first box is gonna be won by the machine wrapped, but we got more to look through. All right, guys, machine wrapped bulls are done. We got three pounds, three ounces. So machine wrapped beat the customer wrapped in copper. Machine wrapped did not beat the customer wrapped in uh, 2009, but we have nicer ones here. No foreigns in this box. We got three in the other box. We did get 359s. We got none in the other box. Both boxes had eight wheat cents, but we got a 1913, and that's going to be tough. We also found a 69S, which we got none in the last box. Man, it's a toss up. Same number of wheat cents, but 31 years older for the one found in this box compared to the 44 in the other box. No, uh, no foreigns. Man. In my opinion, because there's a 1913 in this box and we had more copper, I think there's more value in this box. Let me know what you guys think. In my opinion, the machine wrap beat the customer wrap in round one. If you guys enjoyed the hunt with me, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.